Get ready for a journey back to 1987 with a TV series that'll take you straight to the heart of the Vietnam War. This show is no ordinary one. It's a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and downright sad moments that will keep you glued to the screen. Ever found yourself reflecting on a scene from a TV series long after it's over? Well, this one has those moments that linger. Is there a particular scene or moment that has left a lasting memory? Watch closely and you might just find it. As you dive into the war-torn landscapes and gripping narratives, there's a lot more in store for you. But hey, we won't spoil it all here. Keep watching for those surprising, emotional, and amusing facts that will leave you wanting more. Now, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories. Drop them in the comments below. Your fellow fans are waiting. So buckle up for a trip down memory lane with this series. The war might be over, but the influence of this show is timeless. Touted as a notable Vietnam War drama, Tour of Duty stands out as a television series that delves into the complexities of the 1967 Vietnam War. From its initial broadcast on England's Channel 4 to later reruns on Sweden's Channel 5, the show has garnered attention for its representation of one of the 20th century's most tragic conflicts. The first season introduces Sergeant Zeke Anderson, a seasoned veteran on his third tour, leading Bravo Company's second platoon. Following an attack on Firebase Ladybird, Lieutenant Goldman assumes leadership. The series, in the wake of the success of Play Toe On, navigates through a forward base, punctuated by explosions and exploration of challenging themes. While it may lack the cinematic depth of its big screen counterpart, the network show remains sufficiently impactful considering the constraints of its time. The second season shifts focus to the impending Tet Offensive, relocating the platoon near Saigon. Notable additions include hotshot helicopter pilot Lieutenant John McKay, psychiatrist Dr. Jennifer Seymour, and crusading reporter Alex Devlin. The production transitions from Hawaiian tropics to California, attempting to attract a broader audience through the inclusion of female main characters and romantic subplots. However, this shift dilutes the show's original gritty and unfiltered portrayal of war on network TV. The jungle and base settings maintain quality, but the representation of Saigon falls short and detracts from the overall experience. As the third season unfolds, attempts to eliminate romantic entanglements by killing off Alex create a mixed result. Although the series struggles to fully recover in its third year, it remains a compelling network attempt, showcasing the challenges and hardships of war. In conclusion, Tour of Duty offers a nuanced exploration of the Vietnam War with memorable characters and storylines. While the second season veers into mediocrity due to attempts at mainstream appeal, the show manages to retain its overall compelling narrative, providing viewers with a glimpse into the harsh realities of war on network television. Airing in the early 1990s on some regional ITV networks in the UK, Tour of Duty found a midnight audience, featuring painted black during its opening credits, echoing the original S broadcasts. However, post-transmission, the series hasn't resurfaced on UK screens, possibly due to unresolved music rights issues. Tour of Duty gained distinction for adopting the Rolling Stones painted black as its opening theme, symbolizing the Vietnam War era. Unfortunately, in syndication, this iconic anthem had to make way for an original composition by Joseph Conlan due to prohibitive licensing costs. Noteworthy in its production quirks, the series employed ground filming with rotating helicopter rotors for Lieutenant John McKay's scenes, adding a touch of realism to the visual narrative. The choice of painted black as the series' opening anthem and the unique filming technique for helicopter scenes underscore tour of duty's commitment to capturing the essence of the Vietnam War despite challenges such as licensing costs and creative adaptations. These elements contribute to the series' lasting impact even in its absence from UK screens since the 90s. The TV series unfolds in three seasons, covering just over a year in the tough landscapes of Vietnam. A unique aspect is the short time frame, which is not common in TV shows. This deliberate choice gives a focused and intense look at the wartime experience. Sergeant Anderson rarely wears a helmet because his head is larger than his fellow actors. This small detail adds authenticity to the character and shows attention to detail in the series production. Seasons 1 and 3 start with short but interesting facts about the Vietnam War. 
These bits of information help set the context and historical background, grounding the story in the complexities of the 1967 Vietnam War. Throughout its run, the series changes settings and tones significantly. In the second season, new characters are introduced and attempts are made to broaden its appeal by moving the platoon and including romantic subplots. Although this shift dilutes some of the original gritty portrayal of war, the show still maintains its quality in jungle and base settings. A notable feature is the use of the Rolling Stones Paint It Black as the opening theme, symbolizing the era of the Vietnam War. Despite facing challenges with licensing costs, the commitment to capturing the essence of the war is clear. In syndication, an original composition by Joseph Conlan replaces the original anthem. Production quirks like using rotating helicopter rotors for Lieutenant John McKay's scenes add realism to the visual narrative. These creative decisions, along with the choice of the opening anthem, contribute to the lasting impact of Tour of Duty, even though it hasn't been on UK screens since the 90s. In conclusion, Tour of Duty provides a concise yet impactful portrayal of the Vietnam War, navigating through the challenges of war with memorable characters and storylines. The show's commitment to authenticity, seen in both character details and production choices, ensures its lasting influence on viewers. Inspired by the success of Play Toe On, the TV series takes a distinctive approach to the Vietnam War, capturing the harsh realities faced by soldiers in the conflict. Unlike many shows, it stands out for its concise portrayal, covering just over a year in the tough landscapes of Vietnam. This deliberate choice gives a focused and intense look at the wartime experience. One notable challenge faced by the series was the difficulty in obtaining licensing for copyrighted music. This led to the loss of rights to many songs used in the original CBS run, impacting not only the opening titles, but also requiring the editing of individual episodes. Songs from well-known artists like Jimi Hendrix, The Rolling Stones, Creedence Clearwater Revival, The Animals, and Bobby Bear were removed, altering the intended musical atmosphere of the show. In Season 3, the Studies and Observation Group, portrayed as recruiting from Special Forces outfits, deviates from reality. While operators like Franklin D. Miller, a decorated Vietnam War veteran with seven tours of duty, did join Soji. From regular infantry units, the show exaggerates by depicting entire squads or units being wrangled into operations. However, the series acknowledges the heavy casualties suffered by the unit, explaining the recruitment of Goldman and his men as a stopgap measure. The commitment to authenticity is evident in small details, such as Sergeant Anderson rarely wearing a helmet due to his larger head size than fellow actors. This attention to detail adds a layer of realism to the character portrayal. Seasons 1 and 3 start with informative snippets about the Vietnam War, grounding the story and the complexities of the 1967 conflict. Despite shifts in settings and tone, particularly in the second season's attempt to broaden appeal with new characters and romantic subplots, it maintains quality in jungle and base settings. The decision to use the Rolling Stones paint it black as the opening theme symbolizing the era of the Vietnam War further reinforces the series' commitment to capturing the essence of the war, even in the face of challenges like licensing costs. In syndication, an original composition replaces the opening anthem. Production quirks, such as using rotating helicopter rotors for Lieutenant John McKay's scenes, contribute to the visual narrative's realism. These creative decisions, coupled with the choice of the opening theme, underline its lasting impact despite its absence from UK screens since the 90s. In conclusion, the show provides a concise yet impactful portrayal of the Vietnam War, navigating through the challenges of war with memorable characters and storylines. Its commitment to authenticity, seen in both character details and production choices, ensures its lasting influence on viewers.